Programme number 21, part one, take one. Edited copy. Sergeant old sugar bag. Gotta get your glasses changed. Oh, I'm sorry, Eli. You're in here early. I'm usually first. Ah, well, you know how you usually spend all day in here? Aye. I spent all flaming night in here. <laughs> Got home late now, Nelly locked me out. Aren't you gonna do out about it? I'll say I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna tell her she's out of order. Uh. Oh, and by the way, so is this. It's frozen up. <laughs> Well, you've got home, have you? Midnight cowboy. <laughs> Where do you spend the night? The Hotel de Cecil? No, the Hotel de Boghouse. <laughs> well, it serves you rotten right. Why don't you get home at a receptacle hour? When all decent people go to bed. There's no reason why she'd come home and find half bolted up, is it? When I want to bolt the house up, I'll bolt it up and you can flame well belt up. Oh, fair dues, Nelly. I've only just been let in Chamber of Trade. Chamber of Trade? You look as if you've been let out of the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> anyway, I made up my mind sitting out there all night. I'm not standing for it anymore. You're not standing for it? No. What do you mean, you're not standing for it? Last night, you reached rock bottom. Yes, and I don't think I'll have a bit same again. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you mind? No, I hope so. It's empty. Well, just go in the kitchen and make me another pot. I finished waiting on you, foot and mouth. <laughs> I think at last you have come undone. Well? I don't know how you can do it, stopping out night after night, even bath nights. I mean, and leaving me, a, a, a lonely woman, all by myself, on my own, with nobody with me. I mean, in this house alone, when you know very well they're going about doing it. Who's going about doing it? Them. Them who? Them that are going about doing it. Doing what? That. To who? To me. To you? Yes. Well, not to me. Not yet. But why? Why not? Because they're not bloody daft. No. Because I... Keep them out the same way as I keep you out. I'm not just lay lying up there, an innocent victim to any Han Harry Tomadick. <laughs> Look, Nelly, I can come in what time I like. I'm over 21. Yes, well, if you start coming in what time you like, and then I'm going to keep stopping you out until what time I like. You, I'm going to sling my youth and get gone. You mean you'd flip from here? Yes, flip from here? I'd flip him flit in a flaming flash, that's what I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Who the hell do you think you'd have you? Me? Me? I could go anywhere. Anywhere I could care to went, I could go. <laughs> Be it downhill or updale. Doors would open and arms would come out. And slap you right in the bloody cake off. <laughs> no. They would be eager. Groping hands. But because, don't forget, Eli Pledge, throughout these years, there are hundreds of people I have done a turn for. <laughs> Hey, do you recognise that voice? It's the Clangers. <laughs> They've flown all the way in from Accrington. And you know why, Nelly Pledge? Because this is your life. Shut up. Oh. Hello, Nelly, love. I'm glad we've caught you. Just went to see what Walter's got. What's he got, nappy rash? <laughs> Something he wants to give Nelly. Oh, are you sure you can spare it? He's been that excited. He had me out of bed at six o'clock this morning. You shouldn't give him black pudding for his supper. <laughs> way to show it to you. Well, come on, let's have a look. What's the matter? Can't you get hold of it? <laughs> it is a bit slippery. I told him to wrap it up. Oh, yes. Oh, look, I'm all excited. Oh, look, a little tiggler. Well, it takes one to know one. 
shut up, you. Take the notice. And did you catch this? All by itself, on your own, with nobody with you. Yes, he did. Mind you, it gave him a bit of a struggle. It pulled him in twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is he stood here? Is he still very good at, uh, at tickling, uh, Lily? I beg your pardon, no, no. Eh? Well, you know how he used to do it, eh? You always used to go for the belly, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Down with the canal when you went trout tickling, eh? <laughs> no, he's given that up. I bought him a goldfish and he does a bit at home. Oh. <laughs> well, if you remember, I mean, I think your Walter was always one more for indoor sports. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're not going to cook me that for me tea. No, I am not going to cook that for your tea. I'm not even going to give it to you for your tea raw. I'm not going to even give it to your tea, even if you had fought the cat for it and won it. Because that is the last tea you are ever going to get from me. Steady, Anna, you'll do yourself a mischief. You'll crack your crumpet. You must be going. You say, sat sitting where you're sat, our Lily. But, like, you seem to be, like, having words. Having words? The time has gone past for words. The time now is for action. I'm leaving home. Get, I'll get you out and coat. Get your knickers on. <laughs> It. Well, man, you yeah, I'll still go to the factory. I mean, I can catch the 54 in, into town, you know, and to and go to work there. Of course you will, of course you will. Then there's the 12.30 back, you know, from outside the Spread Eagle. Now Walter catches that back from clinic. Now yeah. you'll have no trouble at all. <laughs> and then I'll stop to have to bring me, fetch me and carry for, for Lord Muck there. Well, if I'm Lord Muck, you must be Duchess of Rubbish. <laughs> it's a good idea, Nelly. A good idea, love. And where would you stop? Well, I thought, well, um, with you. Yes. You are hot. <laughs> Have enough with him. Have his bolters. is to change twice a day. And then there's that back bedroom to wallpaper. Ooh, the brass neck of it. Some folk, they think you have your food down. Oh, come on, stupid. <laughs> Who helped you to draw your Walter's Wicklow out? <laughs> You've had your chips with me, and here's your wrong stinking fish to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Doors will open, eh? Arms will reach out, eh? You can go anywhere. Well, get in kitchen and get my tea. And think on what a good home you've got, and I might let you stop. Stop? I would stay with you if it was an igloo and, the, and there was a blizzard blowing round me bloomers. Maybe <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Where would you go? Oh, I don't know, though. They're a bit skint at Buckingham Palace. They'd probably have you to lodge it. There's a place for me. Somewhere. A place for me. And we all know where that is, don't we? I'll inhale that remark. No. <laughs> I'm off. You've been off for years. Where are you off to? I'm off to find myself a room with a view. Oh, I? What kind of a view? I don't care what kind of a view it is, so long as it is not a room with a view of you. <laughs> oh, well, you are then, missus. Now, think on. Don't any boyfriends up here. Eh? Don't any foreign coins in the electric meter. Oh, yeah, and I don't want to find any pot in your room. We've got the bathrooms round there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh, well, seems to have a nice view of the park. It is the park, isn't it? Yes, that's the park. Just behind the slaughterhouse there. <laughs> Well, there we are. Home is what you make it. <sighs> I think I'll make myself a cup of tea. Oh, hello, Stan. Well, where do you want it, Miss Nelly? Well, uh, I think we'll have it on the bed. <laughs> hey, now look here, Mrs. What did I tell you? <laughs> What did I tell you when you answered that advertisement? No fancy men. <laughs> what do you mean? Stan? Stan? A fancy man? <laughs> I married me. Well, there you go then, don't you? You married men, I don't know. You get a bit of overtime, goes to your head, you get big ideas like setting yourselves up with a mistress. How dare you? <laughs> what are you trying to indiscriminate? Well, look, I tell what are you? Here. You're not planning to make blue films up here, are you? I have got no idea what you're trying to incinerate. But 
Stan here has volunteered for this job. Stan would go to any lengths for me. Yeah, I dare say. So you better get him out of here, otherwise you'll have to find yourself another luxury flat. <laughs> oh, well, I were going anyway. Don't worry, Stan, love. Don't worry. I'll see you all right in the pickling shed at about half past seven tomorrow morning. <laughs> By the croaking jocks. And I thought I'd heard it all. <laughs> Come on, then, bring it in. Get it up the table. Hey, I've heard you bring a Brussels party, Mr. Eli, but never bring a barrel. That's because you don't know how to live, Grenville. You've got to think big like. Oh. Well, it cost you all this beer money for the rest of the week. It'll be worth it, Stan. Why, it'll be a night to forget. Hey, I thought it's supposed to be a night to remember. By the time we've stopped that lot, you won't remember your own name. <laughs> hey, now, nah, Nelly's gone. I'm really going to make the scene. I'm really going to rock the boat. Hello, the bloody gnome of Cone's back. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Come for this indelible photo of our poor dear dead dad. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Hey, we're going to have an orgy, Miss Nelly. Now then, Grenville, you don't have to answer her questions in my house. Your house? Yeah, she's only come back because she's home sick, you know. Come crawling back on your jelly belly, Nelly, have you? I have not come back because I am homesick, lovesick, seasick or pigsick. I came back with my head held high on all fours. Yeah, uh, you just come back to see how I'm enjoying myself without you, haven't you? I would not come back to live with you if you had a house in homes and gardens. <laughs> From what I hear where you're living, wouldn't get a mention in the slums and backyards. <laughs> it may not be a luxury spench house, but... You what? But it may not be a luxury length... <laughs> but it is my seventh heaven, the inn of my sixth happiness, the, what shall I call it, my shaggy la. <laughs> you mean shangri la. Shaggy la's up on moors outside Oldham. <laughs> uh, yes, I know what it is. Here, think on. Next week, you'll be down on your knees kissing Brack's doorstep. Me? Yes. Down on my knees, kissing the rest doorstep. Begging me to take you back. Never, never. As long as I've got blood running through my body. At last I have found the courage to strike a blow for female constipation. Yes, Celia. I'm a bit worried, Eli. Hey, love, what about? Well, it's been over a fortnight now. <laughs> <coughs> you what? Since your Nelly left. Oh, why? <laughs> Just you all on your own in this big house. Hi. Well, it must be lonely. Oh, oh it is, it is. <coughs> Celia. Yes, Eli. There's been something I've been meaning to ask you. <coughs> oh, yes, Eli. Do you think you could... Yes, yes, go on, go on, Eli, go on. Well, do you... Go on. Would you... Go on. Wash those mucky pots up for me? <laughs> what? Well, they're driving me bloody crackers. So that's, that's what you flaming men when you said you'd make me the slave of your love. You said you'd make me your wimp Miss World. Well, I will, I will, but just for the moment, couldn't you be my Mrs Mop? You must be out of your tiny mind, Mop. What makes you think I'll be your Mrs Mop? Because you're a flaming scrubber, that's why. Oh. Come on, get off of Get out of it. Well, that's banjo that lot, hasn't it? I don't know. What would my dad do in a case like this? Get drunk. <laughs> oh, I tried that. That's no good. No good. I'll have to get our Nelly back, that's all. By hell, that's a new way to grow mushrooms. <laughs> the advert said every mod con. Anybody knows that's a rubbing board? I don't know. Hey, white tornado. <laughs> Are these yours? <laughs> How dare you mess about with my smalls? You bloom a bandit. <laughs> I've just hung those out in the bathroom. Oh, yes, I know all about that, but what I keep asking myself is why? 
Because, Mr. Knickerknocker, I have just rinsed them out, wrung them out, and hung them out. And of course, I don't suppose for one moment it was your intention to inflame the passions of any poor man that might happen to be passing by the bathroom. Are you casting nasturtiums at me? So that in a moment of weakness, you'd be dashing here. A victim of the flesh, and in a flash, you would have him. At your disposal. Well, have you no... Know that no man has ever been near my disposal. <laughs> You're all right, all right. Don't burst your bloody bodies. <laughs> and don't keep spanging my elastic. <laughs> yes, well, I, I'll let you off this time. But just you remember, no more advertising. <laughs> You know where? <laughs> oh, no, no, just out for a bit of a spin. <laughs> what are you doing here? I didn't know this place was licensed. Well, I just passing, saw you through the window. I mean, even if you've left home, there's no reason why I shouldn't have a chat like two reasonable human beings, is there? Oh, where's the other one? <laughs> like your little joke, don't you? Mm. Truth to tell, Nelly, is I've, well, I've been getting a bit worried about you lately. <clears throat> are you really, Eli? Yes, you know, I mean, you must be a bit lonely all on your own, like, aren't you? No, not really. I'm just uh, enjoying being an emaciated woman. You mean emancipated? Emaciated is when you look like a bit of scrag end. Although you could be right at that. <laughs> you can mock. You always were a mucky mucker. That's what you were. And I'll tell you why. Think about our mammy. She was an emaciated woman, all right. She was a suffering jet. <laughs> you mean suffragette? And my dad didn't have to make her suffer for it at all. Mm, do you remember that night, that foggy night, when my mum went out and chained herself to those railings? You mean she thought she chained herself to the railings until the tram moved off, then she had to run with it all the way to the bloody depot? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yes, but she still st did everything the other suffering jets did. You remember when that other suffering jet threw herself in front of the king's horse? What did my man do the next day? Threw herself in front of a donkey at Blackpool. <laughs> ah, yes, but that was because there were no king's horses about, wasn't it? And besides, then, because her eyesight was bad, she missed and threw herself behind it. <laughs> do you remember what she landed in? <laughs> We had to dip her at sea before we could take her back to digs. <laughs> oh, no, she said you weren't going to cause a stink for women's rights. <laughs> Happy days. Ah, foggy neats. Mm. Nelly, love. Yes. What about it? What about what? Well, what about coming back home? I mean, they call me Big Arthur D. Lai, you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind having you back. Oh. Nelly, come home. <laughs> All right, Eli. I'll come home. Good. I'll come home straight away. Good, I know you see reason. Get your bag and we'll, uh, you're just in time to make me my tea. Oh, well, uh, I'll come back under one condition. Oh, I, I can be generous. Name it. Uh, that, uh, as I come in, you move out. Well, I'm going to you what? It's been nice meeting you, Eli, in this wash house, because after all these years of knowing you, what I have known of you is that you've always been a flaming washout. Oh, yeah. Go <laughs> on, oh, you're all washed up, short house. Ah! Ah! How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Oh. Don't get up! <laughs> seen anything like it. <laughs> On the size of him. <laughs> what a thing to bump into when you don't expect it. <laughs> what are you after? What are you after? I've got to let me in. I'm a new neighbour. I've just moved to the next room. Yeah, but what are you after? Well, you might have told me I'm short of. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't look short of anything to me. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't worry, I'm not going to be like that. I was just wanting uh, a cup of sugar. 
That is just a cup of sugar. <laughs> cup of sugar? Yeah. Oh, you're not stood standing there with nothing on naked and nude, are you? <laughs> I've got my little short sports vest on. Well, you'll get no sport in here. <laughs> and I'm wearing a towel. A towel? What kind of a towel? A bath towel or a tea towel? <laughs> what do you think? <coughs> Sorry. Of course, you wouldn't get into a tea towel, would you? <laughs> Uh, hey! <laughs> this is the gear. I can see you and I are going to get on very well together. Yes, well, don't shake hands. <laughs> I'm only through there, you know. <laughs> Just through there on the other side of the wall. Yes. Paper thin, you know, these walls are. Are they really? Oh, aye. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn over quick, love, I might fall out of bed. <laughs> but, I mean... We're both footloose and fancy free. No point in being lonely, eh? <laughs> well, don't you just go turning over quicker. You might come through to here. It's soon, John. <laughs> 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 well, uh, take all I've got. Ah. <laughs> Oh, well, you give me a surprise. I can see that. I'll come back, shall I? No, don't come back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, come back. Come back, come back. How's it? Where, where's your water? One like he had to stop off after climbing all those stairs. He had to have a little, like, pause. Yes, yes. Yes. We had you on us conscience, like, so we thought we'd pop up and see how you were uh, coping with it. <laughs> well, I don't mind telling you, Lily, it's taking it out on me. You can see that. Well, uh, I'd better be going. I could do with a bit of a rest. <laughs> well, if you want a bit more, shout out. <laughs> That's the door you want, mate. She's expecting you. <laughs> My God, it's like an endless belt. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute. Just shove all your horses. God, hey, the state of you. I dare say you're a young man, really. Well, I'm going to put a stop to this. <laughs> Come on, missus, open up. Thank you for finding Walter. Oh, Walter. Has he been? <laughs> well, I don't know if he's been, but I'll tell you one thing. He's bloody going and so are you. <laughs> oh, I've just about had enough of you, Fanny Hill. Get out! <laughs> don't call me Fanny Hill. I've just had bad enough of you, too, I tell you. They're absolutely calling me a woman of disreputable reputation. <laughs> I'll tell you, my slogan is... Liberty, equality, and maternity. <laughs> God, what a flaming middy. <laughs> well, Lily, now I've let you come home. You must admit, I'm not a bad old pig, am I? <laughs> Not a bad old pig, it's taking me all my time to get into the sty. <laughs> I've just seen two loads go. The midden men have just taken two loads of muck away. I'm telling you, it's the first time I've ever seen a midden man cry. <laughs> well, after great deliberation, I've decided to let you stop. Oh, thank you, very glad. That's all right. <laughs> That's always provided you don't lock me out again. No. Have a hot meal on the table for me when I get for the time I get in. Yes, Eli. And uh, never ask me where I've been the night before. No, Eli. And get me tea right away. No, Eli. Yes, Eli. What? <laughs> what do you mean, no, Eli? Because I'm going out now. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. <clears throat> Just a minute. I'm going out to see the bright lights. Bright lights, bright lights. Only bright lights round here is Chippy Winder. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd rather see a bowl of the mushy peas in the chip shop window than your mushy face. Hey, come on, what about my tea then? Well, there's plenty of pickles in the cupboard. <laughs> Why don't you do something different with a gherkin? <laughs> Such as? Such as uh, stuff it. <laughs> with a tin of mincemeat. All right. Well, I'm off now. Oh, just a minute, just a minute. There is only one person going outside this house tonight. And that is me. Oh, is that so? Ah, that's for sure. Is that for sure? Then I'll shut the flaming door. <laughs> Just let me in. What the hell's the idea? Get back there, get back there. What the hell's the game? Sure, what's the game? It's cricket. Cricket? And, yes, and you're LBO. 
You mean LBW? I mean LBO. Look bloody out. <laughs> Program number 21, part one, take one. Edited copy. Sergeant old sugar bag. Gotta get your glasses changed. Oh, I'm sorry, Eli. You're in here early. I'm usually first. Ah, well, you know how you usually spend all day in here? Aye. I spent all flaming night in here. <laughs> Got home late now, Nelly locked me out. Aren't you gonna do out about it? I'll say I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna tell her she's out of order. Oh, oh and by the way, so is this. It's frozen up. <laughs> Well, you've got home, have you? Midnight cowboy. <laughs> Where do you spend the night? The Hotel de Cecil? No, the Hotel de Boghouse. <laughs> well, it serves you rotten right. Why don't you get home at a receptacle hour? When all decent people go to bed. There's no reason why she'd come home and find half bolted up, is it? When I want to bolt the house up, I'll bolt it up and you can flame well belt up. Oh, fair dues, Nelly. I've only just been let in Chamber of Trade. Chamber of Trade? You look as if you've been let out of the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> anyway, I made up my mind sitting out there all night. I'm not standing for it anymore. You're not standing for it? No. What do you mean, you're not standing for it? Last night, you reached rock bottom. Yes, and I don't think I'll ever be the same again. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you mind? No, I hope so. It's empty. Well, just go in the kitchen and make me another pot. I finished waiting on you, foot and mouth. <laughs> I think at last you have come undone. Well. 